All right, board gaming enthusiasts, what do you do with old board games? We were exploring um, a little while ago, I pushed up to my channel here under the board gaming playlist, this idea that I have three groups, let's call them piles of, of board games. And the first pile of board games are titles that I play weekly or monthly. They never even make it up to the shelf. They sit in a couple of plastic boxes and cardboard boxes that I bring to the club or I pull out. Um, titles like Runebound, titles like Pathfinder the Adventure card game, whatever that, that title is going to be in your collection, it doesn't make sense to put it somewhere nice and look at it because I'm playing it constantly. Then I've got a second pile, Tier 2. These are games that I really, really enjoy. I would play them every week, but they require certain things, certain things to align. TI, Twilight Imperium, Kingdom Death Monster. You need to commit to a campaign. Descent, first edition. You need to plan for a weekend. So they get played five or six times a year, and, and I have them on my shelf prominently because I pull them down. Then my third selection of games are titles that they're solid. I enjoy them. They're good. But they're a supplement to other gaming systems. A perfect example, Relic, Warhammer 40,000, or Space Hulk. I love both those games. It's a great way to explore that grim, dark 40K narrative. But I also play a lot of Warhammer 40,000. So from that perspective, it's like I get my 40K fix playing 40K. If I'm going to play a board game, I don't always pull those down. And then there's kind of a couple of games, so maybe a fourth pile, that I have... I tried them, I played them, either they didn't quite work out for whatever reason, or just, I was like, you know, I'm not going to play them enough. Maybe I play them once or twice a year. A couple of games, honestly, being honest with you, if, if that, if that. So these games, what I tend to do, and it's, it's natural as we expand our collection, things are going to be hit or miss despite reviews. Things are going to evolve. Your, your tastes are going to evolve. What do we do with these games? What do we do with these games. Sometimes I'll trade them away. The The gaming club, the war gaming club has a swap meet every now and then where instead of gaming, we all show up with our, our stuff and you can trade miniatures, you can trade games. There's this idea you can kind of swap, literally swap stuff and, and maybe get some stuff to help where you are with your army and your gaming and help someone else out. Sometimes I bring my games um, to that with the idea being I'm okay to take a loss or I'm okay to, to really have a, a slanted trade where you get a lot more if you're interested in the title and I can grab something. Or even if it's like, here's a couple of games that I don't play, but you're interested, give me a couple of games that you don't play and I'll, I'll try them out. That happens. The other thing I do is if I can't directly trade them, I give them away. I've received, uh, the board gaming community has been so generous to me. Sending me games, including me in games, um, allowing me to, to play certain games that I, I feel like if I can pay it forward a, a little bit on a title, let's do it. So sometimes when there's a big, big board gaming group meeting that we have, I'll bring one or two of these titles and I look at the games that people are playing. And if I'm like, hey, this is a title I have, you seem to have in your collection of three or four games that you brought titles similar. I'd be like, hey, I don't really play this game. I don't want anything in return. Do you want to try it out? You can have it. The only thing I'd say is if you play it and it's really not for you, then pass it on to someone else and, and let's kind of like get it moving around because I feel like board games themselves and the community have given me so many good memories and, and such a, a great, great time. If I can push that forward, if I can pay that forward a little bit, you know, it's, it's worth the 30 or 40 or $50 that I, that I paid for a game. I, I've gotten my money back in other areas. So turning it over to you guys, um, from that perspective, old board games or titles that you're like, look, I have to be honest with myself for whatever reason. No judgment. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to kind of move on. Do you trade them? Do you sell them? Do you cycle them out? Do you give them away? Do you say, let me sit on my shelf for a little bit longer and kind of see and make a decision, and now it's a year later? What are some of those things that, that you do with that collection that you have?